While these photos may have been posted by other defense websites over the past few days, Max Defense Philippines is trying to get more information about the offering made by South Korean shipbuilder HD Hyundai Heavy Industries. During the recent Adosh 2024 Defense Expo in Manila, HDHHI showcased five ship designs for Coast Guard operations. The HDP 500 is 55 meters long, displaces about 570 tons, and has a maximum speed of 24 knots. This is larger than the current Japanese-built Parola-class multirole response ship which is 44 meters long, and is similar in size to the Australian-built San Juan class which is 56 meters long. The HDP 1500 is 81 meters long, displaces about 1,700 tons, and has a maximum speed of 24 knots. This is similar in size to the PCG-built Selang-class offshore patrol vessel. The HDP 2200 is 94.5 meters long, displaces about 2,450 tons, and has a maximum speed of 22 knots. This is the same basic model as the upcoming Philippine Navy's new offshore patrol vessels, although the Coast Guard version is said to have fewer weapons and sensors, but longer range and better accommodations. It is also similar in size to the PCG's Magbanua-class MRRVs which are 97 meters long and displace about 2,200 tons. The HDP 3300 is 106 meters long, displaces 3,300 tons, and has a maximum speed of 24 knots. It is similar in length to the Jose Rizal-class frigates that HDHHI is also building for the Philippine Navy although larger and heavier with a strong emphasis on long-range patrol, space for non-crew members intended for search and rescue, HADR, and more. And finally the largest offering is the HDP 5500 which is 140 meters long, displaces 5,500 tons, and has a maximum speed of 25 knots. It appears that this offer was made by HDHHI in relation to the PCG's upcoming requirements, Although Max Defense Philippines has not received word of any requirements for vessels longer than 100 meters except for a possible strategic sea lift vessel which may not have been submitted by HDHHI. So far, we know that the Philippine Coast Guard is pursuing the acquisition of additional multi-role response vessels and offshore patrol vessels, but we also know that the PCG is dependent on official development assistance. Oda loans from foreign countries considering that the upcoming PCG modernization bill only allows PHP 1 billion per year for five years which is not enough to acquire new vessels. In comparison, the five additional 97-meter MRRVs the Philippines ordered from Japan are worth PHP 24.6 billion, or an average of almost PHP 5 billion per vessel. This means that HDHHI's offer will be highly dependent on the ability of the South Korean government to provide financing loans for the PCG, Department of Transportation to acquire the vessels. All of HDHHI's offers are steel hulled vessels, which is all the more ideal for the PCG considering how the Chinese Coast Guard intentionally rammed their vessels during an encounter at sea. High interest from the PCG is likely to be in the HDP 500. HDP-1500, and HDP-2200, which are closer to the sizes PCG has been looking at, although the PCG may also consider the larger HDP-3300 as neighboring coast guards such as Vietnam, Indonesia, and Taiwan operate larger vessels than PCG's largest vessels. The experience of BRP Teresa Magbanua, MMRV-9701, during her five-month deployment at Sabina, Escoda, Shoal also provides some operational insights to the PCG that may include consideration of acquiring larger vessels such as the HDP-3300 or even the HDP-5500 to match what the CCG has. The HDP-5500 is larger than all of the China Coast Guard vessels except the two Jouto class monster ships which are 165 meters long and displace about 12,500 tons. PCG may consider the HDP 5500, but most likely in small quantities, 
probably only one to two ships. It is not impossible for South Korea to provide ODA loans for the acquisition of Coast Guard vessels, considering that HDHHI may also push for this to their advantage since South Korea's ODA loan means only Korean shipbuilders can participate. HDHHI has been pushing specifically for the HDP-2200 since the Philippine Navy already has it, as it will provide efficiencies to both the PN and PCG in terms of maintenance since both ships use almost the same components, and have the same maintenance, repair, and overhaul, MRO, program. PCG can also take advantage of HDHHI's MRO facility that is being completed at the Aguila shipyard in Subic which will also provide MRO for Philippine Navy ships built by HDHHI.